गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज स्टार्ट द लेक्चर नंबर मोमेंटम इंटीग्रल इक्वेशन विल सी सी वॉट इन दिस इक्वेशन वॉट वॉट दिस हाउ दिस इक्वेशन हेल्प विल सी इट सी इन द now we have to if you have to write the delta in terms of f of x right uh, then how we will write this this with the help of the con uh, con karma integral equation right means you have to write down the delta as a function of x this thing you have to write right what theta is with theta that is a we already calculated that is this is f d right divided by rho rho b rho b u infinity square this we have already calculated right this is our let me write it uh, very clearly okay so that you will okay okay see uh, uh, theta what the uh, theta is theta is uh, theta is equal to theta is equal to that is rho not rho theta is uh, fd that is the drag force divided by rho b rho b u infinity square this is a theta b right okay this is my theta b let me take it yes okay uh, see how uh, if i integrate uh, suppose see uh, now let me i'll move on to here see this is what my plate right now i am finding out on this this is a plate okay on this plate okay here Uh, see what i will do i will consider one thickness actually my pen is not writing correctly in the today's okay it's uh, just to make guys i will make it it's not pen we will call it as a stylus okay okay i think it's it will work now let me check whether it is uh yes okay see this is our plate right we need to consider now again same thing yes. let me correct this now okay i think it is now okay actually what ever my laptop is not working properly that's why i switch it my class on this mobiles okay i'm taking the classes on mobiles right now okay uh, see now, uh, the what theta we you know theta is equal to now it's okay that is fd divided by Rho b u infinity square. This is our theta b, right? So if for the small, if I consider the fall uh, drag force, this is a drag force on the plate, right? This thing, this is the, okay. This is a drag force, okay. And the drag force is on this plate coming on the fluid is in this direction. That is this F d. We have seen this, right? And if I consider, see the, this drag force. Where is if I consider the element d f, okay, along this width of this plate. Suppose this is the width of the plate, okay. What the d f d? See, this is what the f d, okay. The d x element I consider, and I'll calculating the drag force on that. Okay, this is my the leading edge that is x is equal to zero here, and mm, again the same thing. okay mm. do you 
guys know any other software okay which i can work very good okay deliver the lectures properly because i am not able to write on this uh, compared to other see this is good no problem okay okay this is what x is equal to l okay on the small element i considering and i am calculating the drag force on that you understood this okay uh, this is what the df okay how, how to find out this df the df uh, uh, d of d that is the drag force is equal to rho b right mu uh, infinity square u uh, in sorry u uh, uh, infinity square into d theta right this is what the displacement okay now if i write it further then i'll get c if i integrate c what this f d that is a shear stress this is a wall shear stress right wall shear stress into area that is b into dx is equal to rho b uh, rho b u infinity square into d theta right Okay, let me uh, erase this. Uh, what comes here? Okay, little bit. Yeah, right, right. This is a d, d theta. Okay. Uh, uh, now see, uh, the, if I calculate this further, then what I will get? Okay, just wait, guys. This is again the same problem is giving. I will come back. Let me check now whether it's working or not. Uh, where we are? Yeah, again, same problem is here with this. Be keep patient, don't go anywhere. I am just repairing this stylus as I am uh, facing the problem while writing. So don't go anywhere. I resolve this issue within, within a short time. I know this problem, that's why I am committing you guys.
I think now it's no, it's again the same products here. I think it is resolved now. Okay, let me uh, erase this. What I have, this is what the line I have to erase. Okay, you will kill me. You will start. Okay, this is not the B, right? The force is uh, DF forces. This is a uh, tau B into B into X, right? This you think this thing you, you know, right? Okay, now if I write, this is what the, if I write del theta by del x here, then what I will get? I will get, that is at wall shear stress divided by rho u infinity square. Okay, and see, the one more thing is very important here. This is, when this is applicable, only the pressure when dp along dx is equal to 0. Okay, that case only this thing is applicable. You should Keep in mind, and this equation is called von Karman. Let me write it down once again. That equation again the same. Okay, okay, something different else. Okay, yeah, yeah. Von Karman. This is uh, do theta by do theta by uh, uh, do theta by do x is equal to tau wall shear stress divided by rho u infinity square. Okay, this equation is called one car. Uh, this is an integral equation, right? This is a difference. Uh, this is a one Karman integral equation. Okay, one Karman integral integral equation. Any doubt up till now? Everything is clear. See, we have already seen that the tau that is the shear stress is equal to this is what the Newton's law of scotch is, dy dy. This thing we have seen, right? And if I write here wall shear stress, then y is equal to 0 at this place, right? Okay, I means we will now we'll see for the linear velocity profile how we will use this equation, okay? One Karman equation in order to write this delta in terms of, uh, okay, the first I will take linear velocity profile. Linear velocity profile. Okay, see the linear velocity that is u by u infinity is equal to y by delta, right? This is this thing we have derived already. So uh, that place, uh, see in this tau, that is a tau is equal to mu y by delta, right? In place of here, I will see u by y means here u infinity by delta here I will get, right? This is what I get from this equation. Okay, see at y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0, this wall shear stress that is t the tau w is uh, 
u u infinity right u infinity divided by delta at y equal to zero okay and for the parabolic if the velocity profile is parabolic let me take the dark color okay if the velocity uh, parabolic for the second that is this becomes too much dark okay uh, for a parabolic parabolic velocity profile Okay, in the parabolic case, uh, this u, what we got, the u infinity is equal to 2y by delta, right? This equation you should know, right? We already derived this divided by delta raised to square, right? Here I can write tau is equal to mu du by dy, okay? From this, what I can write, that is mu u infinity, u in place of u, okay? If I integrate this and I'll write directly, uh, that is delta minus 2y, okay? Here it is 2y divided by delta square. Okay, this is the tau u u infinity by delta 1 minus y by delta. Okay, so so uh, I'll get at y is equal to 0, right? What I'll get in case of parabolic equation, y is equal to the wall shear stress at y is equal to 0, that is tau wall shear stress 3 mu mu infinity, uh, not it's sorry, it's, it's a mu but okay let me correct this okay it's a it's u infinity okay it's not mu infinity u, three u uh, mu u infinity by two delta okay in case of parabolic case you understood this now see this is this is not for okay sorry for this uh, this is for uh, this will we will get this in case of uh, cubic profile okay please sorry for this and see in this case in parabolic case okay uh, here we will get at y equal to 0 tau is equal to tau all shear stress that is 2 mu u infinity divided by two, divided by delta okay this is the parabolic case and just now we have derived this this is for cubic profile okay the third profile is cubic profile case okay in the cubic profile we will get the wall shear stress like this you understood this any doubt up till now so let me write down i will summarize all this wall shear stress in a one page that is for see the tau for tau all for it is one okay in case of a linear velocity profile mu u the npt by delta the tau all shear stress for parabolic parabolic 2 that is mu u infinity by delta the all shear stress in case of uh, now here it comes 3 by uh, th 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 in case of uh, cubic profile okay the, you have to write 3 for cubic parabolic 2 and for linear it is you have to write 1 that is mu u infinity divided by delta okay means you can call this as let me write down here that is wall shear stress is equal to c something constant means c in case of linear profile the one is constant right this two is constant in case of parabolic and three by two in case of cubic profile something constant uh, the mu coefficient of viscosity into u infinity divided by this delta term okay this is the common generalized formula for this finding out in the wall shear stress okay and this c is a, a coefficient of coefficient of y by delta okay this is the coefficient of y by delta in case c this is a linear profile right linear profile this is parabolic parabolic and this is cubic profile means see in the parabolic case the almost we are getting the double wall shear stress if the velocity profile is parabolic that case okay see now uh, see what the one carmen equation what one carmen momentum equation is 
that is dou theta by dou x is equal to wall shear stress tau w divided by rho u infinity square now you know the value of this tau w okay that is the wall shear stress for the linear profile you put that value over there for linear linear profile linear profile that is dou by dou x right see the theta for the linear profile is you know that is delta y uh, delta y is for the linear profile what we have calculated i think it is delta y 6 right this thing we have calculated yes it is delta y 6 for the linear profile case uh, this is what the momentum thickness delta y 6 okay it's uh, again the wall shear stress is mu uh, u infinity divided by Mm, uh, divided by uh, yeah, let me check what we have written here okay it's divided by all shears de delta right divided by delta rho right rho u infinity square o one u and one infinity square you will get cancelled from here and if I integrate this equation see what I will get let me integrate this that is uh, the delta will take outside here okay uh, means uh, from this see the one de uh, one delta will take this delta in this side here okay the delta uh, dou by delta by dou x Right, this is a dou x which is equal to 6 times. The 6 I am taking this time which is constant. This is not delta, this is delta not rho. Okay, delta. Let me correct that because it is very important. We focus on this. See, once you understand this, you will remain it forever. Okay, in your mind. So, but the thing is that you should understand it once. That is very important. See, delta. Uh, uh, del, uh, this is delta del it is not a del it is a delta rho by dou by dou, delta by dx into 6 into the coefficient of viscosity okay the remainder you have to write here as it is that is say rho into u infinity see if you integrate this equation okay let me integrate this that is delta by Or rho by rho delta delta rho delta is equal to okay integration of six times uh, mu rho u infinity into rho x this thing I will get right and if I integrate this integrating this equation what I will get let me write here here I will get integrating above by integrating the above equation we will get that is delta square by 2 right and this is equal to 6 mu x upon rho u infinity and plus some constant okay now you have to find out the bonding condition c at you have to find out this value of c right at x is equal to 0 the delta is 0 right on the flat floor this this thing you know right from this I can write see if I put x 0 and the delta is 0 then the value of c I will getting 0 from here right so I can write here a delta square delta square is equal to 12 mu x square right it is not x square it is x right yes it is x square here coming right See how it is x square coming here. Uh, what I will do, uh, I will see, uh, I will just a little bit simplification I am doing here. Okay, it is a 12 by rho, rho u infinity into x. I am multiplying and dividing by x here. Okay, so uh, let me. Okay. See, if I further simplify this, 
then delta square is equal to uh, root of it's not radial delta square right okay it's a delta square is equal to 12 x square divided by okay see i am writing it in terms of reynolds number infinity x divided by mu see this term indicates that is a reynolds number right reynolds number so the delta is equal to square root of 12 into x divided by r e at that x Right, if you find out this value of the delta, you will get that is delta for the linear velocity profile is equal to 3.46 x upon uh, square root of r e x. Right, this is what in case of linear velocity profile, I will get a delta. Okay, guys, you understood this. See, the uh, Reynolds number is inversely proportional, square root of inversely proportional to this delta. Right, as the Reynolds number increases, this delta becomes goes to decreases. From this, we can conclude. Similarly, I request you guys please find for uh, this for parabolic profile. Rather, I will find here. Let me check what the time right now. Yeah, I will do this also. Okay, no problem. We have time yet. Okay, for this parabolic also, I will do. See the second for parabolic profile. Parabolic profile. Okay, in the see in the parabolic we know theta. What is the theta is theta is two by fifteen, right? By delta. Okay, or the wall shear stress is two times. Uh, it's a mu u infinity divided by uh, delta, right? So if by using uh, on Kármán's equation, I'll put d theta by dx. Okay, is equal to uh, the tau wall shear stress divided by what the one Kármán equation that is rho u infinity square this is what the one Kármán equation standard okay in this what you have to do you have to just this put here okay and you have integrate then once you've done that then you will get the value of delta okay which is in terms of Reynolds number that is 5.48 5.48 x upon root over r e Reynolds number x okay this is what the delta you will get in case of parabolic profile okay similarly you have to do it for the other that is for cubic profiles also you have to do okay means see if i write down here in general let me go to the see if i generalize this then i will get uh, delta is equal to k k x upon root over r e x at that place okay the Reynolds number at that place this is what the, my general formula okay and this k depends upon velocity profile it depends depends upon velocity profile right see the k is see the, the value of k is for linear velocity that is four, uh, 3.46 it is for linear velocity profile right linear linear velocity profile and for parabolic pro profile just we have calculated that is 5.48 for parabolic similarly you have to calculate for other that is for uh, the other two that is we write the other two also the k for uh, k, uh this k for this is for cubic if you have to find this i am giving you it as a homework and k for uh the uh, the other is quadratic okay see the question i asked on this so don't take it casually so you have to write this okay so now see we are here with the help of one karma equation what we have achieved here we are able to write the delta in terms of x okay this is what the main function of this one karman equations okay okay guys then with this we will stop for the today's class what we will do uh, uh, i think in the next class okay the same with the same boundary layer theory we will continue the further part of this boundary layer theory and 
the one request for you guys please right this is what we have done up till now okay now see uh, the uh, the one request please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends and thanks for watching okay thanks for watching okay thank you bye take care